Well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Mark Medley Show. And it is good to be with you again because I have not recorded an episode of the podcast in a little while. Now, you can hear me live each Saturday morning on my radio show, The Reading Circle with Mark Medley, as I'm on the air from 6 to 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Go Brave. Dot org that's g o b r a v e dot org and in the northern new jersey area on fm radio wp 88.7 fm you can also hear my views or read my views on my blog the critical thinker and as a matter of fact the critical thinker is written kind of on the same basis as i do the podcast the mark medley show is whenever something strikes me as something that we take for granted or overlook. That's what I bring to the forefront in the Mark Medley Show and in The Critical Thinker. And in many instances, while I'm on the air on Saturday mornings, I will go into commentary as well. So that's kind of why I haven't been on the air on The Mark Medley Show lately, because nothing has really leaped out at me until last night, where something jumped into my spirit as I was watching a sitcom. I had a guest on last week and we were talking about our blogs and critical thinking and how we like to poke the bear, quote unquote. And that's what I'm going to do in this episode of the Mark Medley Show is I want to kind of poke the bear a little bit. And the title of this episode today is, Are We Really Allowing the Village to Raise the Child? We hear all the time the quote of, it takes a village to raise the child, or to raise a child. And, and it is true, it, it really does take the village to raise a child. But the question that I'm going to have, which is to poke the bear, is, are we really allowing the village to raise the child in 2018? Now, the purpose of my podcast and the purpose of my blog, The Critical Thinker, is not necessarily to have you see things my way or to leap on my side of the fence or to share my perspective. But I at least want to throw it out there for you to give some consideration to. Because again, this is one of those things that I think we kind of take for granted. We hear the cliche, we hear the quote all the time, and then we keep moving. But the question becomes, and I'm going to keep asking it throughout this episode, is are we really allowing the village to raise the child as we're always throwing that quote out there so loosely. And I say that because there was a time when the village could raise the child. And what jumped out at me last night and why I'm doing this podcast episode today is I was watching the situation comedy or or the sitcom Sanford and Son last night. They had a marathon going on on one of the channels. And I watched episode after episode and laughed my backside off. But the one episode that really poked the bear for me last night was there was a situation where the son Lamont and his best friend Rollo, they were in the house alone with some female companions. And if you know anything about Sanford and Son, you know there's the religious and the holy Aunt Esther. And Aunt Esther makes her way into the house by climbing through a window, and the house was dark. And as she comes into the window, Lamont and Rollo are kissing the young ladies or whatever they're doing. And Aunt Esther flicks on the light. I'm setting up the scene for you. Aunt Esther turns on the light, and both Lamont and Rollo holler out, Hey, who, who's in here? Who turned on that light? And Esther goes on to explain who she was and started hollering and yelling. And and in the midst of that, she looks at Rollo and she says, aren't you Rita Lawson's boy? And Rollo had a cigarette in his mouth and he's standing in all of a sudden starts shaking. And he could barely say, yes, ma'am, as he answers the question of Aunt Esther saying, aren't you Rita Lawson's boy? And he says, yes, man. And he drops the cigarette out of his mouth. And at that point, I turned to my wife and said, that's the way it used to be. 
It used to be where a neighbor could chastise or challenge you based on whose child you were. And from just that question alone, it lets you know that you were doing something that was not expected of you. That you were in behavior that wasn't expected of you based on whose child you were. So when Esther asked that question, she said, aren't you Rita Lawson's boy? Rollo knew right then and there what she was saying. And that's why his response was portrayed as now being nervous, dropping the cigarette out of his mouth and taking his arm from around the young lady because he knew exactly what that statement from Aunt Esther meant. And I would say to you and what I'm proposing to you in this podcast episode is we have gotten away from that, even though we're constantly running around saying it takes a village to raise a child. We don't allow the village to raise a child because in this day and age, neighbors and teachers and grandparents and folks in the community in the neighborhood, if they were to chastise a child, they would have a fight on their hands. He or she would have a fight on his or her hands for saying something to someone else's child. It was not always that way. There was a time when the neighbor could say, look, I know who your mother is. I know who your father is. And I know they wouldn't like what you're doing. Matter of fact, if they found out what you were doing, you were going to be in a lot of trouble. But in 2018, what we have is parents or guardians now coming back ready to fight whoever said something about his or her her child. That's part of the reason why we're having the trouble and the issues that we're having with a lot of our folks here today. Many of you know, if you listen to the radio show or if you listen to this podcast, you know I work in the school system. I work with children every day. And even us as administrators and teachers, when we are to tell a parent what his or her child is or is not doing, they come at us with an attitude. There used to be a time when if a teacher said something to a parent, automatically the parent looked at that child and said, what did you do? In 2018, in many respects, it's just the opposite. Whenever the teacher says something about what that child is, the first thing the parent does is look at the teacher and say, what did you do? That's part of the problem. So I'm going to ask the question again. Are we really allowing the village to raise the child? And I'm going to offer up the answer for my personal opinion. No. You don't have to agree with that. You can. You cannot. It really does not matter to me because, again, I'm throwing it out there. And I want you to observe and listen and watch for yourself. There was a time you didn't want Big Mama to know what you had done. And you certainly didn't want Big Mama's best friend coming to her, letting her know what you had seen you do. Now, I know for me, my parents were very clear. You better not get out there and embarrass us. A fight you're gonna have a fight on your hands with us so again that's just one example when we were kids playing in the neighborhood if anyone from da uh, down the block around the block three or four blocks over from the church from the school from anywhere if they had to tell your parents something that you were doing wrong you knew what you were going to have to deal with once you got home but see that I don't think exists today or at least not in the neighborhoods that I serve because in many instances again what we get is the pushback on the adult who made the report again when my sister and I when we were kids there was a speech my parents gave every parent night every report card night every back to school night when they were meeting with a teacher they made it very clear you have our permission that if Mark gets out of line you do what you need to do here at the school and then we're gonna do what we need to do once he gets home again just like Aunt Esther asking Rollo aren't you Rita Lawson's boy that was pretty much saying the same thing aren't you James Medley's son aren't you Jane Medley's son Aren't you James Medley's daughter? Aren't you Jane Medley's daughter? And my sister and I knew exactly what that question meant. And we didn't do anything to have to experience that. And if we had, 
my mother nor father would not have gone back after the adult who raised the question. They would have come back at me and my sister. Are we really allowing the village to raise the child? Do we have that capability in 2018 to say, aren't you Rita Lawson's boy? Because that's exactly what that brought up to me as I watched that episode last night. And I turned around to my wife and said, see, that's the way it ought to be. If truly the village was raising the child, that's the way it would be. And I would think if it were like that, still a lot of these things that we see going on would not be occurring because we knew somebody was watching, that someone was going to tell our parents, that someone was going to hold us accountable for our behavior. Are we really allowing the village to raise the child? I think not. I think we're allowing too many of the children to raise themselves. I think we take their twisted and exaggerated and in some cases lies when they come home saying what happened to them at school. When they come home saying what happened to them on their way home. Rather than us really questioning and trying to peel back the onion to really get to the truth. We're willing to take what they say at face value and then go fight for it. And in many times making ourselves look like fools because our child has indeed embarrassed us as we've now come out to defend them only to find out that he or she was in the wrong. Oh, that's what leaped out at me yesterday. When Aunt Esther said, aren't you Rita Lawson's boy? And Rollo nervously dropped the cigarette and said, yes, ma'am. The question came to my mind, hence the impetus for this episode that's being recorded right now. So I challenge those of you who are listening, if you're parents, really ask your children questions. Don't take what they say at face value. And if another adult comes to you to share with you what your child has done that they weren't supposed to be doing, don't jump down their throats. Don't be so ready and willing to fight them. Because the truth of the matter is anyone who allows a child to do what he or she really wants to do without saying anything really in my mind does not care about that child. Anybody that's going to allow a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old who you know does not have the wherewithal to make the best decisions, allow them to go to bed when they want to, eat what they want to, when they want to, do their homework if they want to or not. Anyone that allows that, you can't make me believe that they truly care about and love that child now however someone who will say no you need to go to bed at nine or ten o'clock that's because they're looking out for their child's well-being we don't want you sleeping in school the next day no you need to eat your vegetables because we know just what eating chips and soda and candy is going to do to your body no you can't run out there and, and and ride your bike popping wheelies in the middle of the street because you might lose control of that bike and into a moving car Oh, are we really allowing the village to raise the child? I know we say that, but I think not. I thank you so much, as always, for listening. And, and please do share this. You can retweet it, or however it is, on the various social media sites. Retweet it. Share it with friends. Let others listen to it. And think about it. You can hear me live each Saturday morning around the world on GoBrave.org. Again, that's G-O-B-R-A-V-E.org. Go to the site. It says, check us out. Click on that and then click on listen live. And you can catch me on Saturday mornings. I also have a YouTube channel. Just put in my name, M-A-R-C-M-E-D-L-E-Y in the YouTube search box. It'll bring my channel up. My blog is The Critical Thinker, even though I haven't posted to that lately. And you can reach me on all the other social media sites as well. But give it some thought. Are we really allowing the village to raise the child? <laughs>